photographer Reto Guntli takes pictures in places few people are permitted to go, such as the home of Caroline Sarkozy. The half-sister of the French president is an interior designer. Keep looking in my camera. Come in. Yeah. Come in. The photographer and the designer have collaborated on a book project that features interiors of 25 stylish homes in Paris, including Caroline Sarkozy's own humble abode. Caroline is so easygoing, and as, as she said, you know, we see things a little bit the same way, in the same perspective, and have the same sensibility. It was quite smooth, yes, you know, yes, it, we really never had to go the... back and, and retake pictures, because yes. Reto has a way of capturing color and the spirit of places that is unique, I think. We wanted to show Paris as it is today, the Paris inhabited by people who have money to spend, the Paris of collectors. These are not common or garden homes. Reto Guntli took the pictures, Deborah derieux Matos wrote the text, and Caroline Sarkozy had the contacts. You'll we'll find something like the Hotel de Roxy, which is extraordinary uh, because it's very different from the other places that we that Which is a rock star home, let me yeah. it. It's, you, know, the, the, you know, 18th century, with um, very much his style of interior. Um, Parisian sculptor Bernard Vanet was happy to have his studios photographed by Reto and his team. But not necessarily because Caroline is the president's sister. No. These people are my friends, they've always known me. So I don't think it has anything to do with what my name is. <laughs> you know, nobody ever asked or talked or any about uh, It's Caroline's not an brother. issue. You know, and it was also I more of a... I hope people, do you think that people talk to, say to him, oh, so you must be the brother of Caroline? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think it helps him in his work? <laughs> Caroline has other things on her mind than world affairs. She's much more interested in questions such as, is there such a thing as Parisian style? How much savoir vivre do you need to decorate a home? In most of these houses, you'll find an incredible mixture of styles. Uh, you can have contemporary objects next to an 18th century commode. Mm. Um, and that's very, very French. You don't see that, I find, in a lot of places. There was a time where you threw away all your grandmother's things and started all over again. I think that's finished. I think that we've come back to uh, more central values in the sense that you just don't throw things away. But I think this has always been true in Paris. Judging by the book, she has a point. In one house in particular, tradition is very much de rigueur. The home of Joseph Ashkar and Michel Charrière is almost as magnificent as Versailles. They inhabit a townhouse originally owned by Count Gevre and designed by palace architect Antoine Lepotre in the 17th century. Most of the fittings date back to the 18th century. They're almost as old as the house itself. It's a privilege to live here. We realize how very fortunate we are to be able to live in such a place. When they discovered the house 10 years ago, it was being used as bank offices. After moving in, they returned it to its former glory. In this hall of mirrors, they found a ceiling fresco some 300 years old. They removed about 30 layers of paint from the walls. The renovation took the interior designers four years to complete. Even the bathroom contained long hidden treasures. This is a shaving dish from the 18th century. The barber would have held it against his customer's neck. He would take some water from a jug, prepare the foam and apply it. 
and begin shaving into the dish. A trip back in time in central Paris. We have a lot of walkthrough rooms that was typical of 17th century design. It's an obvious house for Reto Guntli and Caroline Sarkozy to have featured. A perfect example of Parisian style.